Ever wondered how Robert De Niro, one of the most legendary actors of his generation, got his start in the fascinating world of acting? Born on the 17th day of August in the year 1943, in the bustling, vibrant heart of New York City, De Niro found himself immersed in a thriving, colorful cultural setting that was with inspiration. He was nurtured in two of the most artistically vibrant and culturally rich neighborhoods in New York, the Bohemian Greenwich Village and the lively Little Italy. Born to parents who were both inspiring artists, Robert De Niro was naturally introduced to the world of creativity and arts at a very tender age. Despite the unfortunate separation of his parents when he was barely two years old, his passion for the arts was undeterred. This early exposure and the natural propensity towards creativity led to the birth of a deep-rooted passion for acting in De Niro, which was to shape the course of his life and career. He enrolled himself in the High School of Music and Art, a prestigious institution known for nurturing young talents. The school served as a stepping stone for him, providing him with a platform to explore his creativity and acting skills. From there, moved on to the even more esteemed Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts. His time here was fundamental to his career, shaping him into the performer he was meant to be. However, at the tender yet decisive age of 16, he made a bold decision that would drastically change the course of his life. He decided to drop out of high school to chase his dreams and pursue acting as a full-time profession. This was a turning point in his life and marked the beginning of an extraordinary journey into the world of acting. He then journeyed to the Stella Adler Conservatory and the American Workshop, two renowned institutions known for honing raw talent and transforming them into high-caliber performers. Here, he devoted his time and heart to learning and perfecting his craft, preparing himself for the roles that would eventually cement his position in the world of cinema and eventually redefine his career. So, this is the tale of how Robert De Niro, a young boy from New York City, started his voyage in the world of acting. His journey took him to the Stella Adler Conservatory and the American Workshop, where he honed his craft and prepared for the roles that would soon define his career. His early years in the industry were marked by small roles in films and theater. Then came Bang the Drum Slowly in 1973, where he played a dying baseball player, marking his breakthrough. But it was his collaboration with director Martin Scorsese that truly catapulted De Niro into the limelight, starting with Mean Streets that same year. In 1974, De Niro's portrayal of Vito Corleone in Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather Part II earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Following this success, his commitment to truly understanding his characters became legendary. For instance, while preparing for Taxi Driver, in 1976, he obtained a cab driver's license and worked 12-hour shifts, immersing himself in the life of his character, Travis Bickle. Over the next two decades, De Niro delivered a string of iconic performances. His role as boxer Jake LaMotta in Raging Bull, another Scorsese collaboration, saw him gain 60 pounds to portray the older LaMotta, a performance that earned him the Academy Award for Best Actor. Films such as The Deer Hunter, Once Upon a Time in America, The Untouchables, and Goodfellas further cemented his status as a versatile and talented actor. Into the 90s, De Niro continued to showcase his range with roles in Cape Fear, Casino, and the comedy Analyze This. He also co-founded the Tribeca Film Festival in 2002, a response to the September 11th attacks, aiming to revitalize Lower Manhattan and celebrate New York City as a major filmmaking center. The new millennium saw De Niro remaining active, mixing comedies, dramas, and action films. He received critical acclaim for Silver Linings Playbook in 2012, earning another Academy Award nomination. He later reunited with Scorsese for The Irishman in 2019, a film that also starred Al Pacino and Joe Pesci. In his personal life, De Niro experienced both joy and sorrow. He married actress Diahani Abbott in 1976 and they had a son, Raphael, before divorcing in 1988. He also adopted Abbott's daughter, Drena. Later, he had twin sons, Aaron and Julian, with longtime partner, Tuki Smith. He married Grace Hightower in 1997 and they had two children, Elliot and Helen, before separating in 2018. 
Robert De Niro, with his intense dedication to his craft and his chameleon-like ability to disappear into roles, has indeed left an indelible mark on cinema. His contributions to film, his support of the arts, and his efforts to foster a vibrant film community in New York City will ensure his legacy endures for generations to come.